Uh, hello everyone. So I th just thought I might show everyone a kind of side effect of using subspace um, as the warping method. So what I'm going to do is just quickly get one of them to go into the future. I should have set this up, but oh well. So let's warp about, you know, let's say four hours. One, two, three, four, five, okay, that's enough. Okay, so... Ah, okay, one of the side effects of using subspace is that the future players see things that the past players are doing. Uh, but it, except it's rewound, oh, sorry, it's fast forwarded into the future. So, just to show you that, if the past player, which is this screen here, does a prograde burn, what's going to happen is their orbital period is going to get longer and longer, and they're going to move around the planet backwards. Like so. So I'm just going <laughs> to rendezvous. So I'm just going to kill it just about... Oh, they're close. That's about as close I'm going to get there. So there it is. 29 points on this. Oh, wait. Oh, sorry, 27.9. If I set that as a target... Ah... Now if I press sync, what's going to happen is that this player is going to go round and round into the future and it's going to end up 28 kilometers away from that other one in the past. Oh, sorry, future. So yeah, it's weird, but it's not a bug. This is just kind of the way the subspace works. So I'm going to press sync and we're going to see our friend somewhere around here. There he is, 28.7 kilometers away. So yeah, just um, a little side effect of how subspace works. It, it's not a bug, it's just a, a thing. I wouldn't recommend using it to try and rendezvous, because that would be silly. But hey, whatever. I'm not going to tell people how to play. <laughs> so um, yeah, have fun everyone. It's just, I kind of just wanted to show you that real quick. Alright, catch you later.